Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 2nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. And before I forget it, don't forget the Storm Alert Tour is coming up. The Storm Alert Tour will be held uh, on a number of different days here over the next uh, month of February. You get a chance to meet the entire ABC 3340 weather team of James, Charles, and Ashley. So be sure to come out. I think the doors open at 5 p.m. Uh, so uh, the program begins at 6.30. So be sure to get there as soon as the doors open for a good seat. The river running pretty high at Demopolis this morning as uh, we have had a good deal of rain. As a matter of fact, for the month of January, the Birmingham airport has come in at 8.58 inches of rain. Not quite as much in Helena at my gauge, uh, only had uh, 6.77 inches for the month. But still, that uh, those values basically just above uh, where we typically are for January. So a good deal of rain to start the year. There's a look also at some uh, sun that we have this morning from the Jasper Skycam, although clouds are coming in. So we'll talk about that in just a second. A little bit of a uh, weak surface low is moving through the area. As the pattern remains very, very active, you can see that we're still under a fairly uh, deep trough over the eastern half of the country, kind of the long wave trough position. But that will be changing and the flow remaining very fast. So we're going to see changes fairly quickly over the next uh, week or two. Temperatures across the country, pretty chilly. Boy, there's some really cold air coming in up there in, in uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin. Uh, minus 36 up there on the Canadian border. Wow, that's pretty cold air. Fortunately, while we're in the 20s, we are not nearly as cold as that minus 36. Gee, that makes us at least about 50 degrees warmer than they are. But as you can see from the reports, there is a little bit of freezing rain and sleet and snow occurring across uh, the area. There's a look at radar, and uh, you can see that uh, indeed we do have a little patch of the frozen precipitation moving through west Tennessee, parts of uh, middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama. And some of that is not reaching the ground, but some of it is. As a result of that precipitation, you can see these purple areas indicating winter weather advisories, primarily in the form of sleet and freezing rain. I know that for northwest Alabama, they're expecting about a tenth of an inch of ice as a possibility. So uh, we will see temperatures warming this afternoon. So we shouldn't uh, see that condition lasting a long time. Precipitation over the next uh, five days basically going to be fairly light with the precipitation today being mostly sprinkles for central Alabama. And then the, the next shot of rain coming on uh, uh, Monday and basically not producing a lot. All right, here is the 060 GFS model run. And we, uh, we have a number of little short waves that are moving through the flow today. And those short waves helping to generate a little precipitation across uh, the Tennessee Valley primarily and northeastward from that. But I think across central Alabama, we will see at least a few sprinkles, although uh, the sounding last night showed the atmosphere to be fairly dry above us. But, uh, of course, that changes, and we'll have to take a look at the sounding this morning to see uh, just how much we might get. But I really expect, you know, less than uh, five hundredths of an inch for most locations. The pattern uh, does sharpen up just a little bit tomorrow, so it looks like tomorrow and Monday will be coolish days uh, Lows generally still around uh, and just below the freezing mark with highs in the 50s. And, uh, of course, we should be with high pressure just off to our west. We should be dry. As I say, the pattern remains pretty fast. You can see another short wave developing Monday. But for Monday, we should be dry as the high settles in over the area and precipitation develops to our west. By midnight or so, the precipitation is at least approaching us. So it looks like for early Tuesday... Uh, we are going to be into the possibility that we'll see some precipitation occurring across the area, possibly beginning late on Monday. By Wednesday, uh, we're back under a bit of a ridge as we get a little lull in the next before the next system approaches. But you can see that next system already coming across northern Mexico. And so that is beginning to generate some precipitation over Texas and a surface low. Uh, that system moves across the 
Mississippi River on Thursday. So once again, it looks like Thursday will be a day of some precipitation. But however, here where the models begin to diverge on the solutions, the GFS is much more aggressive with the strength and the precipitation field of the system than the European. The European is much weaker uh, in showing most of the precipitation staying south of central Alabama. I think uh, probably we're going to have to include some precipitation in or some chances of precipitation in the forecast. By Friday, uh, once again, the ridge is kind of taking hold for us and uh, that should mean that we see an improving day on Friday. Uh, still may see a good deal of clouds, but uh, indeed uh, probably improving weather. And, and that appears to pave the way and open up the, the possibility that we'll have a nice Saturday a week from today. But you can see there's another surface low off to the uh, west. And of course, with that weather system, uh, we could have additional rain. Now, the, uh, the European is suggesting that Saturday could be um, wetter. So the European a little more aggressive with the precipitation pattern for Saturday than what the GFS is. But we're verging on voodoo country, so the bottom line is we'll be watching all of that. Uh, by Sunday, of course, it does look like, according to the GFS, that we would be getting into a wet pattern. Now, definitely going out into voodoo country, we see another uh, wet setup for Monday and into Tuesday uh, on the, uh, let's see, what is that? That's the 11th and 12th. And then another wet pattern around the 13th. So you can see it's pretty consistent here. And then once again, uh, the cooling off and another possibility of precipitation around the 15th. So indeed, a good deal of activity and keeping everything hopping in the weather office. Well, that'll do it for this Weather Extreme video. Thanks for tuning in and expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates on the changing weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.